What's going on Blaze Nation? It is your commentator NVBC here bringing you the first step of defeating the Templar which is defending the Confluxes and this is the hardest part of the raid. This was like the most asked video of. It's like how did you guys get past that? And right now this is how I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you our uh, player positioning, uh, where we go when the rounds end and everything. But first time we would name off everybody who was in the raid and help us get this far and defeat this or beat it. Starting off, it was me, NVBC, then Lowly Derman King, Master Sting, I'll be styling on you, Rippin' Holes, and Agent Bourbon. Those were the six people that was in this part, and we completed it. I know someone's going to ask that question. And later down the road, I'm going to be adding a video of, you know, our a set raid group. And I'm going to show off everything we have, um, what we use on the abilities like the perk side of each character and why we use that and certain weapons but anyway that's gonna be a later video down the road I just thought I should share that with you guys keep you updated a little bit but the first round of defending the central conflux is very simple just have two on the left two in the middle two on the right and just shoot everything that comes it gets a little bit more trickier each round you know it gets harder so the second round guys is really what's going to push you over the edge and make you freak out because they spawn at least nine minotaurs if not more in about two minutes which seems like fucking ten minutes on this part excuse my language but this part alone we probably spent around 30 25 hours overall just trying to beat this part but once the round ends guys you need to take off running and either get on a pillar or upcoming right here it'll probably show you a different video and you need to run up here and there's a hole in the wall right over here that will keep you safe from everything and you don't have to take no chances to jump into other pillars and also after you beat the templar there is a chest that spawns inside there if you want to check that out and right here is the player positioning for the second round right there is the second you need a guy there a guy on the first one a guy right here which is the ramp at the left pocket where the uh, oracle would spawn near the templar then you have a guy all the way up on top of the middle template well the middle pillar watching this door then you got one at the steps on the right side watching the other side of the stairs and you got one guy watching the cave that's how we set up our people for the second round I know people are going to ask some questions so hopefully that helps a little bit I was going to go ahead and show my friend where he needed to be because this is his first time trying to do this part like this way the way we had it set up because we tried like a million different ways but this is pretty much how you do the second round it's uh pretty difficult honestly i'm not gonna lie to you and say that we done this very easy this way we had set up like each player in an individual spot it kind of helped a lot more because um the way we was trying it was like four on left side two on right side and it was just being overwhelmed by the middle and then things were getting behind the guys on the right side because we couldn't watch center. And it just puts a lot of stress on whoever is on the left side. They really have to stay up. So I would recommend Warlocks on the left side. But I think we actually had like Templar, well not Templars, but Titans and um, Hunters on the left side. It, it, it seemed to work out, so no worries. But man, you guys really need to watch out for these uh, Minotaurs. I really have no strategy on killing them really fast. Maybe rockets, a golden gun. That's really it. I wish I had a strategy to help you guys out. It's just, you got to tough this part out. That's the only option in this. And once you get past this, the third wave is not as hard. It's not even that long compared to the other two rounds. It doesn't even send that many enemies. It's pretty simple. There's so many times on this part, guys, where I was literally at the verge of dying. I know it's like I have no health at one point and I'm just like hopping around like a rabbit because I didn't want to die because this part was just literally tearing us apart. All of us was like, man, this raid, you know, once you're stuck in here too long, you, you, you kind of lose your sanity. No, he's just messing around, but this part was literally the hardest part. And if you get past this, guys, you should be able to make it through the rest of the raid, no problem, as long as you're at least a 29. Everybody should be a recommended level 29 or 30. If you're even trying to attempt this, I wouldn't put 27s and 28s just because they'll get one-shotted by most things. And a death on the table is not what you need. But 
Yeah, once you finish the second round, look, it looked uh, so easy. But once you go and try it, guys, you might have um, a battle of your own. And for each wave, guys, we stuck with the same way of doing things. You know, you just got to stick in the middle, keep the character rotation on all three rounds in the same exact places, except for the guy that's on the left side on top of the pillar. He has to jump down and just kill enemies around there. That's the only person that really changes periodically through this whole thing the rest of the um stay in well the rest of the teammates or players stay in the exact same spots unless someone dies and you have to switch out so you're pretty much smart enough you'll know when to switch out and have to play some uh player changes and all that stuff so you shouldn't have to worry about that but i'm glad to finally bring you guys the first part of defeating the templar this is by far the hardest part and i hope my to well, I hope my God helps you because, I mean, there really isn't no God. There's no one explaining this, how to do it. But there was one guy, his name was Josh XO that beat it, and he kind of gave us the strategy that we're using right now. He pointed out where we should be. So big shout out to Josh XO for giving us that uh, strategy. Very big. So everyone congrats him. I don't know who he is, but he just kind of popped in our party and told us. So thank you once again, man. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this uh, God helped and all that good stuff. But if you're new to the channel and you want to see more Destiny content, definitely subscribe because you will be um, notif you'll get a notification when I post another Destiny video. Most likely, it'll be there to help you guys out. Anyway, this is NVBC out. Have a wonderful day, guys, and don't forget to subscribe.